Fort Snelling is a really daunting space for me. I think because of the, the work I do, but also as a Native person. I am Minikoju Lakota, but I'm also English. I'm a member of the Shine River Lakota Oyate in South Dakota. The first thing that people should understand when they enter that space is that acknowledging that this is Dakota land, that there's a concentration camp. That there's a memorial site, that there's a space connected to Fort Snelling that is a horrible history for Dakota people. Disease stricken, people dying, children dying, what that must have been like. Our family, part of the reason we ended up in South Dakota was because of that forced removal. The history there is not the same for every person, but in particular for Indian people, for Dakota people. Juxtaposed right next to that patriotism and that honor and that pride is despair. Minnesota citizens, they can only benefit from understanding and accepting and acknowledging that all of these complicated histories have happened there. I'm hopeful in thinking that there is a way to talk about those two spaces, those different histories, but for me it's most important that they're not talked about in separate ways, that the Dakota experience is embedded within all of those histories because all those histories don't exist at Fort Snelling without Dakota people. When you come here, you're gonna be confronted with lots of histories, histories you're uncomfortable with. That's how we're gonna better ourselves as people, is by, by approaching those histories head on. <laughs>